Assassin's Creed Mirage is a prequel to 2020's Assassin's Creed Valhalla and stars none other than the mysterious Basim Ibn Ishaq. Now if you played Valhalla, you'll remember Basim as one of the game's main bad guys. So if you find this a little confusing, I completely understand. But fret not, because to help you gain some more insights into Basim's past, we're going to go through his complete story so you know what he's experienced and what you're in for. And of course a lot of what you're about to see in here is spoiler material, so don't say we didn't warn you. And now without further ado, here's the complete story of Basim. So before Basim was Basim, he was Loki, a member of the advanced humanoid species known as the Isu and part of the Aesir. Loki met Sigyn and took her as his wife, but since he was dissatisfied with his marriage, he had an affair with the Dicastes of Atlantis, Alethea, or Angorboda in Norse mythology. This in turn led to the birth of three children, namely Fenrir, Jormungandr, and Hel. Odin saw this as an act of betrayal since Loki had fathered children with a sworn enemy of the Aesir. As a result, he had Fenrir locked away for all eternity in order to punish Loki for his transgressions. Infuriated by Odin's actions and seeking revenge, Loki secretly poisoned his son Baldr, leading to his death. Odin would then embark on a journey to find a way to resurrect Baldr, but this would ultimately prove fruitless. Loki and Alethea then attempted to steal the Mead, the seventh method of salvation designed by the Jotnar, which caused Alethea to become mortally wounded. For this reason, Loki had her mind transferred into the staff of Hermes in order to save his lover. Then when the great catastrophe came, Loki went directly to the ancient supercomputer Yggdrasil and killed all of the gods and scientists that were present. He then murdered Heimdall and took his mask before uploading his DNA and consciousness into Yggdrasil. Although Alethea and Loki would effectively cheat death, Loki did inform the mother of his children that his rebirth would take several hundreds of years to occur. Many millennia later in the year 835 AD, Loki would be reincarnated as Basim ibn Ishaq. Born in Samara within the Abbasid Caliphate, Basim was the son of an architect named Ishaq who was charged with building the Great Mosque of Samara. Sadly, after someone else took credit for his work, Ishaq was forced into exile and died in poverty thereafter. As for Basim's mother, she passed away when he was still a child. For this reason, Basim grew up as an orphan on the streets of Baghdad where he faced much hardship. During one of his regular visits to the House of Wisdom, Basim met the revered astronomer Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi, whom Basim regarded as kind and generous. By the time he was 17, Basim survived as a street thief in Anbar. During this time, he battled horrifying visions of jinn, invisible spirits that were able to take on the form of people and animals and were even known to possess humans. Basim was eventually captured by some gods who had managed to foil one of his attempted thefts, but thankfully Master Assassin Roshan rescued him before he could receive his punishment. Basim was then inducted into the Hidden Ones where Roshan would serve as his mentor. He eventually became a Master Assassin himself, but since Basim had inherited Loki's memories, he struggled to repress the Issue's influence. Finally, Basim became aware of his past life and reached a mutual understanding with Loki. This in turn caused Basim to become obsessed with finding the other Aesir who had used Yggdrasil, and so his allies began to regard him as an individual who was both dangerous and mysterious. In 867, Basim and his apprentice Hytham traveled to Constantinople to foil an assassination attempt by Basil I against his son Leo. In the city's markets, they met Thyra of the Eagle Clan who was also the leader of the Varangian Guards. The trio then made their way to the abode of Demetrios Hestian, who was a friend of the Hidden Ones. There they met with Empress Eudocia in Jarena who asked them to protect Leo. Basim then struck a deal to form an alliance between the Hidden Ones and the Eagle Clan in exchange for Hytham becoming an undercover Varangian Guard. Basim watched Hytham from the shadows during his first day, and after Leo survived an attempt on his life by the Vipers, Hytham gathered some information from Emperor Basil. Basim then provided Leo with a healing cell for the injury he had sustained and showed him a magic trick before disappearing from his presence. Hytham later asked for help after discovering the corpse of a Varangian god. It was thus assumed that Basil had ordered for Basim's apprentice to be killed. After hiding the body, Basim discussed some possible suspects with Hytham and opted to protect Hytham for the night. The next day, the two tailed Justin who met with an unknown man, whom Justin ended up killing. After eliminating two other attackers that had shown up, both Hytham and Basim questioned Justin. After realizing Justin was innocent, they made their way back to the palace as quickly as possible. That night, Basim and Hytham entered the children's wing of the palace and found Thyra being attacked. Basim then faced off against and killed several members of the order before saving Hytham. His apprentice then informed Basim that he knew of his goals and Basim responded by stating that he knew that Hytham had been tasked with spying on him by mentor Rehan, and before Hytham could reply, Basim disappeared. Basim then found out Hytham went to track the order assailants by himself. Along with Thyra and Leo, Basim discovered an abandoned building that was serving as an order hideout. After battling members of the order, Basim freed and injured Hytham, but despite the group's efforts, Isaac had managed to escape. 
Basim later found himself at Philippation where the emperor was having a public picnic with his family. He then sparred with Hytham and reprimanded him ruthlessly. Basim then insisted they leave the city, to which Hytham disagreed. It was then decided to root out Isaac by using Leo as bait, to which Hytham reluctantly consented. Basim was subsequently ambushed by Order members while planning an attack during Basil's Hippodrome event, and although he killed one member, Basim had been wounded by a dagger and sought medical assistance. After being found and aided by Hytham, Basim threw a spike at Basil's chariot, which caused the Emperor to have an accident. The Order immediately attacked and kidnapped Leo, and after following the fleeing captors into a nearby alleyway, Isaac stepped in to lend his warriors a helping hand. Basim and Hytham fought Isaac while Thyra and Justin dealt with the rest of the warriors. In the chaos, Leo managed to break free and was instructed by Basim to flee. Working together, Hytham and Basim then managed to kill Isaac. Justin and Leo were praised as heroes, and a meeting was then held between Eudocia and Hytham at Hestian's residence. With their job done, and after saying goodbye to Leo, both Basim and Hytham left Constantinople to forge more alliances with the Viking clans. In 870, Basim and Hytham found themselves in Constantinople once again. Here Basim was the leader of the Bureau, and during his time, he travelled to Antioch with Hytham to deal with a new faction of the Order of the Ancients known as the Snake Eaters. Unfortunately, the Antioch Bureau had been all but wiped out during this conflict, so Basim was compelled to ask for reinforcements. Mao from Francia sent two acolytes while the Alexandrian Bureau dispatched four hidden ones, and with their help, the Snake Eaters were driven out of Antioch. Basim and Hytham then returned to Constantinople while the six other hidden ones were sent to pursue the Snake Eater's leadership on the Silk Road. Basim had also dispatched Ammon, a hidden one, to Bulga in the same year so that he could obtain a Shroud of Eden. Unfortunately, the Viking Sigurd Styrbjornsson killed Ammon and took his hidden blade as a trophy. After being informed of Ammon's death, Basim was disappointed, but after hearing that he had been killed by a Viking with a mark on his neck, Basim became very interested since he believed Sigurd may in fact be a reincarnation of Odin. Basim and Hytham later met Sigurd in Constantinople and taught him many of the customs of their organization. In 872, Hytham and Basim accompanied Sigurd on his trip home to Norway, and upon arriving in Fornburg, they met the rest of the Raven clan. This included Sigurd's wife Ranvi and his adoptive sister Eivor Varnsdottir. Sigurd gave Eivor Ammon's hidden blade as a gift, and while Hytham objected, Basim overruled him. Basim then taught Eivor how to use the blade by allowing her to practice on dummies made from straw. Then in 877, Eivor and Sigurd travelled to a fjord in Hordefilke where they found the ancient Isu ruin that contained Yggdrasil. Basim was then consumed by memories from Loki which caused him to go on the attack. However, Eivor was the reincarnation of Odin, and since she won the fight, Basim became trapped within the device. Hundreds of years later in 2020, with the strengthening of Earth's magnetic field, Basim was able to send an audio message to the assassins of today and direct them to Eivor's remains. Layla Hassan then used the Animus to sift through Eivor's memories and discovered the location of Yggdrasil. Layla then ventured to the location and entered the chamber with the staff of Hermes to protect herself from the huge amounts of radiation and discovered Basim's body still connected to the machine. Following this, Layla entered the Grey, and after Basim grasped the staff, his body rejuvenated. He then communicated with Alithia's consciousness within the staff and confirmed that Odin was long dead and that Layla had fulfilled her purpose. Basim then travelled to Layla's safe house where he met with Rebecca Crane and Sean Hastings who were both angry as a result of Layla's fate. Basim then asked to meet with William Miles, and after visiting Eivor's grave, he entered the Animus to use the bleeding effect to find his missing children. Then after meeting with William through the Animus, Basim agreed to aid in helping him to understand how he had survived and suspended animation for as long as he had in exchange for providing the assassins with a blood sample in order to pass its genetic sequences via the Animus. And that is the complete summarized story of Basim ibn Ishaq. So are you excited to play Assassin's Creed Mirage when it drops on October 5th, 2023? And what do you think of Basim as a character? Let us know in the comments. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily gaming, VR and tech content. From me and the crew, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Later!